All right, so when casting bullets, the quickest thing that will destroy your entire pot of lead is zinc content. You won't know zinc at all. So I've got a couple of examples here. I've got an ingot that I've cast. This is an ingot that was in the clean lead bin at the scrapyard I bought. It should be soft lead. I've got about 15, 18 of these. A regular clip-on wheel weight. And this is a zinc clip-on wheel weight. Now the way we're going to test these is using muriatic acid. Now to start with, you'll need to make some scratches like that so it can get down to the bare the bare metal and through any oxidation or anything on the surface see some scratches there scratches there because lead will oxidize over time and some of these wheel weights will have some type of a coating on them so you want to get through that all right i apologize for any camera shake i'm gonna try to do this one-handed um using a straw to get this a small amount out i do have ventilation out here First, we'll put a drop on this. And then one on this. Or more than a drop. A little bit on this. Well, it's quite a bit, but that's fine. And one on that. Alright, no reaction to that. No reaction here. All right, look at the zinc. See how it fizzes pretty violently? Muriatic acid has a reaction with, with zinc. The regular wheel weight. There's a little bit on the surface, but that's because it was in a bucket full of, full of zinc weights and uh, lead. You can see where the bare metal is, there's nothing. If you have any fizz at all from acid, you've got zinc, you need to throw that away, whatever it is. You can see from this one. See, that was a zinc weight. Check the others one more time. Nothing there. Nothing there. And nothing there. But the old zinc weight still fizzing. And of course you'll want to use a lot of ventilation or respirator when doing this. I've got ventilation out here. I've got a small fan running, garage doors open, so there's really nothing to breathe here.